What's good with y'all boys, man? 2K24 been out for about longer, a little bit longer than, than a week now. And um, if y'all been watching me for a minute, y'all know I love playing defense. I love get, getting steals. And this point guard build right here, as you saw in the first clip, can definitely get steals. But at the same time, he can also get to a bucket, man. Now, I'm going to show y'all the build. And at the end of the video, I'm going to drop y'all the jump shot because I've seen some people in my comments have been ask, asking for it, as well as the SIGs I use. So let's get into the build. So obviously you're gonna want to go point guard six six because six six really is the sweet spot this year for point guard. It's, it's the meta um height. You really get up so 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 much more attribute upgrades rather than making them six four or six three. So six six on the height, two hundred and five pounds on the weight, and seven three wingspan max wingspan. Cause y'all y'all already know I love playing defense again in the lanes. Now from first glance you you can see wait th this build can't dunk. No it can't, and I made it like that on purpose, man. I don't think I need dunk to be able to finish at the rim efficiently because I've never been a slasher myself. And honestly, I haven't had too much of a problem um, without being able to dunk. A 90 drive a dunk or driving left is more than you need to finish efficiently. As long as you, you, you don't take up dumb takes, bro, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine. So 90 driving layup, 25 drive a dunk, you should be fine. Now, when it comes to shooting, I, I don't know why pe people think you need higher than an 83 point rating. No, you do not. Because I've seen people on YouTube being like, oh, you need an 85. No, you don't. I'm shooting just fine with a 76 three point rating and an 86 mini. Because y'all, if y'all have, if y'all been watching me since 2K23, y'all know I love shoot shooting fades right there. That's bronze agent three, 76 three point rating greening. That's a pretty decently contested shot. That's a green man. So yeah, I'm going pretty. I'm shooting pretty consistently with a 76 six three. I think in in rec I'm shooting like 60 percent from three, something like that. Like I'm I'm going crazy, man. Not, to say the least, bro. That's a good little step back into the, the three, bro. So a 76 three, 86 mini, you'll be just fine, bro. You be just fine don't don't listen to what these youtubers gotta say boy you you need the 85 three no you do not trust me 76 three it, it it gets the job done man it gets the job done as long as you can time your shot and have the right sh like shot settings like push and all that bro you'll 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 be fine man the playmaking stats for this build are pretty solid too it gets a 92 ball handle and 92 ball handle 66 that basically unlocks damn near every a dribble start in the game minus like a few like steve francis but you'll be fine bro like trust me 92 ball handle is more than enough to get open get get to a bucket combo up now this build only gets silver speed booster and silver killer combos but honestly i i haven't really had an issue getting open with silver killer combos now i know there's a huge difference between gold and silver killer combos as well as um um speed booster but I've been doing just fine. As y'all see in these, these clips, I'm moving around pretty well with the ball in my hands. Uh, even setting set my team, teammates for, for some buckets. So playmaking on this build, honestly, really good. I would definitely go with an 80 pass accuracy unless you, of course, want one bet bailout. But honestly, I haven't had an issue throwing too many bailout passes with, with an 80 pass accuracy, honestly. I think an 87 pass accuracy is it's just a bit too, too expensive for, for my taste. And like I said, if you want to go 87, go ahead. But it's it just kind of, it's not necessary. I just think it's 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 not needed if if you're not a, a true like playmaker, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, man, you see the behind behind the back uh, into the lay. I told y'all, man, you can finish pr pretty effectively in the paint as long as you don't go up with with no stupid stupid take, bro. So good little pull up, pull up three. And yeah, man, the playmaker on this build is great. Now, defense, in my opinion, that's where this build truly shines, bro. Like, you really can make this build a lock damn near. It has a 91 steal, 88 perimeter defense, so that's enough for silver clamps as well as gold glove, gold interceptor, gold rice ripper. Like, bro, this build be going crazy, bro. Gold 94 feet, silver fast feet. I wish that was gold, but you see me get an easy plus, man. Like, this build goes crazy on defense, bro. Good little lay. Um... I usually, whenever I'm playing five, I usually guard uh, the the main ball handler on, on the other team. Like that's how confident I am in this build's defense. Um, I, I've like I've obviously silver clamps. Obviously, you wouldn't want gold, but trust me, man, silver clamps, you're, you'll you'll be just fine. You see, like you you see the steals I'm getting, bro. Like these are crazy ass steals. Now I'm gonna show you the fit physicals. I'm not gonna lie, nothing nothing too crazy. 86 XL. 
86 speed now i really should have went a bit faster with the speed but it is what it is man i'm doing just fine um now strength 65 i'm not gonna lie if i'm playing against a smaller guard i'm definitely getting pretty bumpy with him, with him on defense man if i'm going like a 6261 i'm getting pretty bumpy with 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 the guard on defense man so now that i showed y'all all the stats i'm gonna show y'all boys the jump shot and the six I just gotta say this, man. Trailing behind the back is so nasty, bro. Like when I do it, it, it feels like it gives me like a street ball vibe, yo. Like I feel me, man. Like Trey Young behind the back definitely is underrated. Um, Penny Hard Hardaway spin is also tough too. Now for the animations, um, Devin Vassell pull up is so good. It's really quick. Paul George hop jumper, as y'all saw in the beginning of the video, also is a really good hop jumper to use, as well as Russell Westbrook layups. Now, when it comes to the jump shot, I got to be honest, it is a very quick and it's going to cut you by surprise, but I'm using Nazir Little Base, man. Base is so good. The jumper is really smooth, man, but like I said, it's really quick. So if you're not into quick shots, then this shot is not for you. And that's the build for y'all, man. Hope y'all boys enjoy. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love, love y'all boys a lot, man. Thank y'all so much for the support. And uh, yeah, man, I'm out.